Welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're hopping into the Cessna 208 Caravan and trying to fix the fix of the fix for making the conditioner lever work. Well, it's a dreary day, so why not go play with airplanes? All right, so dropping inside, we can see that we had this condition lever and magically, they used to have it mapped to the mixture like it always was. Now, I'm not saying it's right, but it worked. And when they removed it from the mixture binding, they didn't give us anything to bind it to. Now, with software update 7, when you went into your control options, there are now new available functions. So we're going to use the trick we've done with some of the other stuff in using the VJoy device to get us these new condition levers. Now, if you were to go searching for condition levers, you're going to find that there is also an axi, but that axi is not currently exposed, it appears, to spad.next. Now, maybe in the future, the condition lever axis will be picked up, uh, but currently, if you try to move the condition lever axis position, um, it's not actually moving. So, you could map to the axis. I went ahead to make it easy, made it some uh, cutoffs because I'm using VJoy, but if you are using or don't have VJoy set up, uh, you could use keyboard commands. So you could make some control shift alt option or whatever, trigger this and map that in SPAD next instead of VJoy. So you need complete addition if you want to target key commands to specific applications. That way, if you're inside of something else and you press that button or move that lever, uh, it doesn't get sent to what's in focus. Now, if you always keep Microsoft Flight Sim in focus, uh, you can get away with it with the you know standard edition of SPAD.next. What we're going to show you is using the VJoy buttons. Plus, VJoy is fun. So I've gone ahead and I've mapped VJoy button 121 to low, 122 to high, and 122 cutoff. So once you've done that, now when you're in the sim, we can go ahead and we can move our condition lever or our mixture as we'll call it and I can even go into cut off if I want so there you go works great uh, works pretty awesome so very important so how did we do this well for that Let's go ahead and jump into SPAD next. We did a couple things. So the fifth axis is the RX axis. Now, one of the things that we wanted to do was we wanted to set up some conditions for ranges. So what we decided to do was go to add event and we added a scripted event so we could send a button press. So on the first thing we did was we added a condition and we went and found our local, our Bravo throttle quadrant and our RX axi. And we added that and we said when it is greater than 85, so 85, basically these values read zero to 100. So we wanted to be greater than 85. We're going to add an event. We went to advanced virtual joystick. Uh, I'm using my first VJoy. I wanted to press and release a button. I had chosen button 122 to be when we were in press and release, when we were in the high idle. Clicked OK. And we wanted to end processing so it didn't just keep on going through it. So there you go. Uh, we've got our VJoy set up. Then we clicked OK. Uh, I've already got it, so I'll hit cancel. 
We made a second one, but we added a binding so that we decided to do this when it's greater than five, less than 85, uh, to go ahead and fire off button 121, which is low idle and end processing. Then at the bottom of the detent, when you go below 28, sorry. Uh, when you go below in the detent, that goes into the cutoff position. And so what we did there was since we have button 28 set up as a switch, so this is set up as an on-off switch, we have it that when switched on, it's going to fire button 120, which we set to the cutoff position. Um... I guess we could have ended processing, but it's a switch, so no big deal. And then what we did was we, when switched off, so when it comes out of the detent, it will also fire button 121 uh, to make sure that we get into that low idle position. So if we look at it all together, let's see how it works. So now you can see as we move that, it will run the script. The script will put it into high. We can bring it back, goes into low. All the way down to the bottom, it's going to be considered low idle. So we have that whole range to get it up to high, all the way down to low, cut off, pop it back out, all the way back up to high. With that, let's blast out a CYTZ and make our way back to YOW. As always guys, Hope you liked it, and if so, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along with us next time when we play with more Spadnecks fun stuff and get into some more Flight Sim. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.